Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I drew this pastel drawing and I used soft pastels and pastel pencils for this one. And I also used a reference from a website called graphicstock.com. And this video is actually sponsored by Graphicstock. So let me tell you a bit about Graphicstock first. So Graphicstock um, is a website that has the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, vectors and illustrations. And with a Graphicstock subscription you can get access to 350,000 royalty free images to use for your artwork or other purposes. And this way you don't have to worry about copyright infringement, which is always good, especially when you want to use your work for selling. And another fun thing is that Graphicstock is actually giving away a 7 day free trial to you all. So you can check that out and browse through their massive image library yourself and find inspiration for your work. So if you're interested you can go to graphicstock.com slash youtube or click the link in the description box below to start downloading and get 7 days of Graphicstock for free. And now that I've found my reference, let's get on with the drawing. So first of all, I of course need to tape down my drawing. And I do that with scotch removable tape. It's very easily removable. Um, so I use that to tape down my drawing. And then I am going to start laying down my base colors. So I'm using my Koinor soft pastels. And I also got some individual Sennelier uh, soft pastels, which are very, very nice quality. So I used those in combination with my Koinor soft pastels. And I also used a black Faber-Castell pastel pencil. And I also used a white Faber-Castell pastel pencil. And I also used some Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils. You can find the whole list of materials in the description below plus the links to Amazon where you can buy them. When I came by um, this reference on graphic stock I really wanted to draw it right away. I thought it was a beautiful picture and I have always wanted to try something like this um, with the blue side and the more purpley side but I never could find good reference for it that was free to use so yeah I'm really glad that I came by this picture and then I was suddenly I was inspired by a movie I used to watch as a kid and it's called Watership Down and it's about a group of bunnies that um, has to fight their way to freedom basically and the ending scene of that movie inspired me to draw the little bunny rabbit spirits in the sky. If you like 2D animated movies and movies with a little bit of a dark and disturbing undertone, I would recommend to watch Watership Down. Although it's a 2D animation, I would not recommend it for children. It is quite disturbing and dark. <laughs> If you've ever watched a movie, please feel free to comment down below what you think of it. So I really really liked working on this drawing. Um, I am happy with how it turned out. I do think the white part in the middle is a bit too bright. Maybe I should have toned it down a little bit and made it a little less white. But other than that I'm happy with how it turned out. And I never, when I do original work, I never like to completely copy my reference. I like to give my originals a bit of a personal touch. So that's why I um, also decided to, to add the bunnies in.
So I really hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you've ever watched Watership Down. I'd love to know. And yeah, then I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!